Not what ready? is up, you Wait, guys? <laughs> she was not ready. What's up, you guys? We are filming our. What is up, you guys? We are back and filming our second podcast of the week. We have a special guest tonight. Should we reveal who it is? Gabby. We think her last name is Gowdy. Gabby Gowdy from Twitter. You guys know her from Brown's Twitter, from FanDuel. She's freaking hilarious. We love her. If you haven't listened to our latest episode, it's just with us. You have to watch it. I think that was pretty, pretty good so time. far. We yeah. say that every week. Well, if you guys are confused, like, what the heck is this? This is not your normal matching outfits, sit down cookie cutter. <laughs> We're like, hands crossed. We have our papers of factual stacks. Information. We Very are cool. not those girls anymore. They're dead. RIP. We had a funeral for them and we've moved on to bigger and better things. Rebrand. This. Rebrand. 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 <laughs> this is the rebrand, guys. It's going to be a little bit more vlog style. We're going to basically set up the YouTube camera and vlog the podcast. You're going to be asking, why are we doing this? <laughs> How do we adapt this concept? Well, from the beginning, we have always wanted to start this yeah. into be college girls just talking about football because we <laughs> just because because we love sports and we want to talk about football but we also want to be relatable which is our brand we had a really hard time long. finding that it took us a year we would literally study all night long before yeah. we filmed Bama Network episodes come in and just present to you things that you basically already knew it yeah. was not fun for you guys. It wasn't, it wasn't fun opinion. for us. It wasn't yeah. anything exciting. So here we are, rebranded. New brand. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you love my sweatshirt. It's literally from like the 70s. But yeah, we're so excited for you guys to listen to this episode. I'm good. How are you? Oh, shoot. Sorry, I just dropped. I brought Cheez-Its. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> of course I am. Before we do that, like, how do you pronounce your last name? I know. It's really weird. It's pronounced Gowdy. Oh, yes, we were Right. <laughs> it's like Howdy, but with the G. Oh, great. I love that. Welcome to the Starting Lineup Podcast. Gabby Gowdy is our amazing, exciting guest that we've been pumping up for the past episode all over Twitter. We know you guys are excited for it. Gabby, welcome. How are you? I'm good. Thank you guys for having me. Thanks for coming on. So, we must ask first question How is FanDuel? It's really fun. It's a different. Well, I'm still working with like science stuff, but like I'm transitioning to not. So it's such a different scene. It's way more fun, and the people I work with are awesome. So it, it's a really great time. So you're a chemist, right? Yes, by day, I guess. Wait, wait, why did I not know that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I work for um, an aerospace chemical company. I used to work like in the lab. But now I transitioned and I like do stuff for their like media and website. So. Oh my gosh! So wait, did you like? Are you do you have a degree in chemistry? And is that like what you originally wanted to go into? And now things are like shifting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have a I have a biochem degree. Big shocker. So wow. Like wow. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot relate, but good for you. <laughs> I feel that. <laughs> Same. Watch Grey's Anatomy. So bad. Yeah, exactly. So then I said, I'm going to figure out something that I actually like. Because I feel like I'm so good at chemistry. I don't want to be like a chemist. Like, I don't want to be like a chemist. Oh, my God. Gabby. So now I just, I work for a chemistry company. And then, yeah. But now I do sports on the side, also. Yeah. So, so what is your So that was not planned, right? To go into sports? No, it was not planned at all. Like, I. And did it happen by accident on Twitter? Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it did happen by accident by Twitter, like, last August. But I've, like, talked about sports my whole life. Right. And I was, like, I talked about it with my friends, and I'm like, you should just, like, post this stuff somewhere because you're kind of funny. I'm like, no, oh, I'm not really, but I'll just do it if you think so. So I, like, <laughs> picked this up on Twitter. I posted a picture of, like, Odell back then at the first scrimmage. And we love him. Like, <laughs> yeah, like 8,000 people retweeted Oh my god. 24,000 likes, and I went from like 600 followers to like 4,000. I was like, oh, Jesus. Oh, wow. Wow, that's a big jump. Yeah, so then that, I just started saying more sports stuff from there. So that's how it started. 
So, okay, one of the things I really wanted to talk to you about is kind of how we both, Caitlin and I both, discovered you on Twitter, basically over the whole, like, Baker Mayfield scandal. And when the girl was, like, pumping the narrative that he was, like, seeing her and you're basically coming to his defense, like, he has a wife and you're an idiot. And that's, like, literally how we discovered you on Twitter. So, like, you know, if you just want to explain that whole situation or just from, like, your point of view and, like, what that did for your... professional athlete like cheats that's yeah, like, like not know, shocking don't do, so it's not, like, but don't like expose them that's not cool <laughs> yeah, like, that's, that, that's like if i would like go on the internet and start talking about like guys that i dated right <laughs> it's like, honestly weird. just weird <laughs> she's going to voice whatever happened, like, that's not the right thing to do, in my opinion, but if she's going to actually go after his wife or, like, try to make a, you know, pass her or whatever, right. it's like, what? That's not a good look either. In fact, you look even worse than you did when the initial yeah. thought. Like, I mean, I guess she, she probably thought it was, like, cool to, like, her friends be like, hey, I did, I get it. I guess she's right. a yeah. fan of, like, stature and stuff. Like, this is so awesome. But then to say that about his wife. I'm like, well, you just defeated everything you just tried to do. Maybe just, like, tell your friends, brag about it for a minute, and then move on. Like, go to the next man. It's like the girls on TikTok right now. Yes, exposing the TikTok boys. Yeah, I'm like, well, maybe just tell her, because now she looks like a dummy. Mm -hmm. He's probably upset. Yeah. I feel like there's just certain types of people out there that will literally do anything for likes and clout, which is so sad. Right. It wasn't like a TMZ story because they post everything. Yeah, no, yeah they know everything before it even happens. But yeah, that's how we discovered you on Twitter. <laughs> and we were actually like sending your tweets to each other through DMs that's and we were like, she's hilarious. We love her. Like, this was way before we even started this podcast. And then, like, obviously, once we did, like started over the summer, we were like, we need to have Gabby on at some point. So, like, we've been looking forward to this for a while. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, oh my god. Well, before we move on to any more football talk, we have to ask, are you drinking anything tonight? It's Thirsty Thursday. We're about to like jump into a little ad here in a second, but it's pre-recorded, so you won't even hear it. <laughs> um, so, uh, at like 5 p.m., before I have to do more work stuff, which I guess like Monday morning, I'll probably have to do like beers as you're making videos, because I guess that's what you do in the sports world. That's right. <laughs> about you besides what you put on Twitter? Where do I live? Right. Well, no, you don't, don't be specific. But, like, what <laughs> state? <laughs>
Cleveland because I got a new job. Oh, okay. Wait, that's, that's awesome. awesome. I would, like, 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 like right downtown. Okay. Um, and I could walk to, like, the Cavs, the Indians, or the Browns. So it's, like, five minutes away. Like, that is so nice. Yeah. That's awesome. And I feel like that's a great place for you to be, which yeah, kind of brings us into our next segment. Like, you're a huge Browns fan. That's kind of mm-hmm. like what I feel like your brand is like, you're a Browns fan. Like, that's what you pretty much probably yeah. really tweet about. How, like, how did you become a Browns fan? Have you always been a Browns fan? Um, I was a Browns fan since I was born. Okay. <laughs> I, I was, like, born into it. I feel like when I was younger, I was more of, like, an Indians fan because they were in the World like the Like, the two months after I was born, they lost to the World Series against the Braves, but... I feel like I've been more of like an Indians fan, and I've always liked the Browns. I've been to the games, but they're so bad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so hard. And then the Cavs were really good with LeBron, and I loved them. Right. Now, I mean, like, football is just so much more enjoyable, I guess. Mm-hmm. Watch, so. Here I am. But I like all the teams in Cleveland, so. Yeah. Well, I have to ask, how do you feel about Mason Rudolph? <laughs> started and like basically all our professors like put in the syllabus like not coming into class and now all of a sudden like both of us our professors are like trying to make us come into class like I actually have two in person next week outside <laughs> literally outside because they want to social distance outside and that's the thing it's supposed to rain on Tuesday <laughs> and I had class on Tuesday and my professor was like if it rains, I'll send the alternative plan, like, all the stuff. And I was like, this is ridiculous. Like, let me stay on Zoom. I want to stay home. Like, I'm lazy. Mm-hmm. At this point, like, I've made plans outside of class. So, no. So far, we've not been on campus. <laughs> yeah. Not at all. Not, not, not at all. Yeah, not at all. And kind of when we were coming to, back to school, they told us, mm-hmm. you know, we might have hybrid classes. But then a lot of them changed to strictly online. But these hybrid classes, you know, they talked about it the first day that they're probably going to be online the majority of the semester. And then here we are, and (laughs) we're randomly supposed to go into class next week. And it's really ironic that we're supposed to go into class when campus cases are rising by the hundreds, like, every day. It's like, wait. so many pictures. (laughs) <laughs> right, no, and it's like the yeah. students here don't care to die, like everyone's out, like no one wants to wear a mask, the bars, like they're not social distancing, it's really funny because on the outside of the bars they will make you wear a mask, like the bars that have an outside and inside seating, because they don't want the police to like give them a citation. Once you go inside, it's like normal, and I'm like this is basically defeating the whole purpose of everything. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of people doing stuff here too. So. Yeah, I mean, at our apartment complex, <laughs> our pool got drained because they want everyone to stop going to the pool. Yeah, and the gym really got it closed. Really <laughs> so. I have a pool here. It's like freezing all the time. So I wore I wore a sweater today, a turtleneck sweater. 
We always wear sweatshirts. Like, I'm in sweatshirt and leggings right now. It's probably 90 degrees outside, but I, we always, like, are dressed for winter. But neither of us like cold weather. Like, if it's yeah. below 70, we're like, I freaking hate it here. Like, <laughs> I'm moving. <laughs> so yeah. I cannot live in Ohio. That's, like, one place is a no-no for me. You probably live, like, southern Ohio. It's not terrible. But, like, the northern where I live, yeah. there's a lot of snow. Yeah, I know, for sure. Oh, gosh. Not for me. Well, so for, I have a question. So you do a lot of, you know, sports talk on Twitter, on TikTok. <laughs> what do you like doing more? Because I love watching your TikToks. You come up with a lot of great ideas. Uh, what do you mean? Do I like tweeting more or do I like the videos? Yeah, like do you like making uh, your videos more or did you decide to, you know, go on TikTok to expand your content or what? Uh, see, I like to go on TikTok. That right. <laughs> yeah. After someone commented on one of my videos on FanDuel today, and he said, "Your roots are showing a big." <gasps> oh my god! That's so rude. Ten years old. <laughs> oh my god! How does he even know what roots are? <laughs> I don't know. Like I got roasted by a ten-year-old today, so like I don't know what to do with the rest of my day. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. We were laughing at your TikTok today that you posted about like the different NFL fans going into the yeah. season. We I like watched it and I was like cracking up. Caitlin was like, What are you looking at? And I was like, literally Gabby's TikTok. Like it's so funny and we were laughing about it. But it's like so creative. You come up with do you just like come up with things off the top of your head or is it like trendy ideas or where do you like where do you get this stuff? Oh, for my TikToks I usually make up all the things myself, but like if I don't know like a specific team, you just kind of know all of them pretty well. <laughs> yeah. But like sometimes I just don't know, so I would go to like Reddit or I'd like tweet something, I'll say like roast this team and I'll take like the best one. And that like, is so like, smart. Oh, that's a good idea. Obviously people are going to reply. Yeah. And then if I use it, I'll be like, hey, I'm going to use this in my video. Like I really appreciate that. It's like super funny. But then I kind of make it my own, but you can just sort what they say. That's awesome. Sometimes we struggle getting back feedback. Like today when I tweeted that we were having you on the podcast to ask us questions, I thought like people would be like, oh, that's awesome. Because I feel like we're all three like we're girls in sports yeah. like why would you not have questions about that and it's like sometimes our followers are very interactive and they have questions and then yeah. sometimes they are literally mute and it's like <laughs> i think they are so stuck on alabama football yeah. that they do not care what we have to say if it does not deal with matt jones and bryce young like <laughs> yeah, i get that i get that too because like i feel like sometimes you ask things and some of them like they'll say whatever but then you ask other things and they're like kind of like shy about it because people <laughs> just don't want to like say something weird and then yeah yeah for sure yeah. sometimes I tend to do that not like only the sneaky things but you know, <laughs> we know how that goes <laughs> exactly <laughs> all right well that's all that we have for tonight thank you so much for coming on our podcast and before um we end this how can everyone find you on twitter and tiktok you're listening you better go follow Gabby if you're not already she's the best she's hilarious and you'll love her content thanks so much for coming on yeah thanks